be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because I'm coming back to back with bangers. Today, I'm going to be covering the Logic Pro 10.8 update a little bit more on the mastering assistant, okay? This video, I'm actually going to go in and we're going to mess with some of the knobs and just kind of show you how you can like edit that mastering assistant, okay? So I have this beat. I'm going to let you hear just the hook. Um, show you some of the levels and everything like that. We're going to export the file, then ex uh, import it to a new session, and then I'm going to show you a little bit more detail on the mastering system. And if you were paying attention over here to the stereo out, I left a whole lot of uh, headroom, at least negative six dB of headroom. So basically what I'll do from here is come over here to the beginning of the beat, push enter, and you wanna make sure, of course, there's no dead space right here. So you wanna put that play, uh, the end marker to the end. And I'm gonna push command B. And I leave this at the 24 bit and take this up to uh, I leave this at 24 bit and I take this up to 4800. All right, and so I'm just gonna pretty much bounce this down. I don't know why I call this beat Dracula, but that's what the beat's called. And I usually put new mix right here. And then we're just gonna uh, bounce this down. So after this is bounced down again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, go ahead and import it into a brand new session, and then we'll show you the mastering assistant in a little bit more detail. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna go over here, go new. All right, cool, so we have our new session up. I'm pretty much gonna come over here, go to my files, desktop, and go to this Dracula beat, drag this on in. All right, so cool. We have the beat in here. Again, want to make sure that the playhead is all the way to the end. And then it would be best to come to the hook, but it doesn't matter. But I'm going to come to the hook, and then I'm just going to come over here to the stereo out. And the dope thing about um, Logic Pro 10.8 is that mastering assistant is already ready to go. So all you have to do is click on it, and it's literally gonna automatically start like analyzing your audio. Now, the cool thing is I can boost this um, loudness, I can mess with the width, and that's what we're pretty much gonna be doing here. I can also do some stuff with the custom EQ, so let's check out the beat. I like this because it automatically goes ahead and boosts everything, but if you want it to be louder, put a little bit more width on it, you could do that. So that's pretty much what I did on that. It's pretty simple to use the Mastering Assistant. Make sure that you go ahead and lock in um, to the channel, subscribe. We're dropping gems like this every single day. And also go to my website, beatmakingbasics.com. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all jam out to this beat, man. Leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.
All right, y'all. Again, that's the end of the video. Uh, make sure you head over to my uh, website, beatmakingbasics.com. Got courses, kits, and more. Also, if you want to know how I made this beat, let me know in the comment section below. I might go ahead and drop the uh, how I made the beat video as well, man. We're out. Peace.